The week ahead is about to be one of the strongest weeks we will see for the start of this beautiful 2024. And as we move out of Capricorn and into Aquarius a couple days ago, uh, kind of like a week ago, we now transition into a stage where human interaction with crypto becomes more possible and more profound. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how you guys can get some of the best out of the crypto space, especially considering that right now we may actually see this week become very, very volatile with the news that I will be sharing with you. I am going to keep it a very short video because I have something else coming out for you a little bit later. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Thank you for being here with me on this wonderful Sunday. Hope you are well and blessed and happy as always, guys. Um, welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Ducas. Thank you for being here with me, guys. If you did not watch my Manta Network video yesterday, go and check it out. This layer two is like buying ETH at $1, plus there's an airdrop. Go check it out, guys. I don't know why it hasn't got so many views. Go check it out. It is a very, very cool video for you guys, and there is a lot there. Now, we've seen so many things happening out there in the crypto space, but at the end of the day, there is always going to be things happening out there. There's projects every single day that pump kind of 600%, 300%, 100%. This is what I was telling you guys. So, you know, if you are watching the cryptocurrency space every day and you are there making good gains, like that's really good. I don't have that capacity. You know, I've got a family. I've got a couple of businesses. I've been doing an acquisition in another business. So, you know, crypto is a very, very, very huge passion of mine. And I'm actually bringing my businesses into the crypto space. But in order to be like one of these really good uh, crypto hustlers, uh, you know, and I'm not saying a hustler as in like I'm hustling you out of your hustle, but really from a point of view where, you know, you know where to look for all of the cryptos and find those massive gains. So I am busy setting something up for you guys in the background because I am so passionate about it. And I do go and find these, these very special cryptos for you. But today, this video is about Bitcoin. So let's delve right in. Today, we are sitting at 1.7 uh, $11 billion in market cap. We're up 1.6% for the day. Trading volume has diminished dramatically down to $41.5 billion. And that is just typically because we are now seeing huge volumes of trading come in with the spot Bitcoin ETFs, and that is making things go crazy. So Bitcoin is up 1.3% for the day, 1.6% for the seven days. And we'll talk about that very specifically in a short little moment. Ethereum is up 0.2% for the day and down 8% for the week so far. And, you know, I actually, one of my, one of a friend of mine um, actually has, you know, he's not a fan of Bitcoin, but he's actually a fan of Ethereum. And he says, Ethereum is a really good thing to look at and to get into at this point. But I know each of us have our own personal views out there. And that's the thing is that you should never take any of these videos as uh, personal investment advice because that's not what they are we're here to entertain the, the youtubers are here to entertain each other and to keep each other like on on kind of keep each other on our toes so that we can show you what's up and coming show you what these projects are show you what they're about and what they can do for humanity okay hence coming in into a humanitarian phase and solana is pumping back up 5.8 percent for the day sitting at 97 uh, dollars guys this is amazing and avax is up 8.4 percent for the week and up 10.4 percent for the day avax is pumping hardcore guys you know we're going to see more of this come into the space over the next little while and that's why we need to be very very sure that what it is that we're doing in the space is very important now if you guys are subscribed to my channel i'm actually going to be doing a video on tau and that will be released a little bit later so make sure you guys come over check that video out and then subscribe to the channel like this video you can see avax injective fix uh, solana tau casper link dot so many things are in the green once again today very few things are in the red and if they are in the red down 2%. It's not that much really. Okay, guys. So, you know, this is kind of calm for crypto. So I would say that this is the calm before the storm. And you ask why? Well, I'm going to show you why. Okay. Uh, besides for the fact that we have seen an influx of 
news articles about um, uh, the spot ETFs being launched, the fear and greed indexes remaining high. We're seeing liquidity flow into crypto. We're seeing the cryptocurrency market cap hold above this kind of 1.6, 1.5 level. I would say 1.5 level, holding nicely above it. Um, the bubbles continue to pump. We're seeing the fear diminish in the market. And actually, you know, people are like really looking very much into the space for massive returns. And that's why with the halving coming up, you can see that the 61.8 FIB is resistance and springboard halving will be the trigger. So as you can see, down momentum, kind of in an upward sloping uh, and ascending triangle, then it breaks out at halving point and look at how it rallies and then it has a crash and then it breaks up and then are we heading into the same space here kind of slow here and then a pump into the halving or are we already kind of getting ready to make a pump well let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i think that we are going to see a pump kind of going a little bit before the the halving although the halving is definitely a major catalyst and why is that well first of all we have Federal Reserve interest rate decisions coming up this week, and that is part of some of the volatility that will definitely be coming out. If they pause um, or start to decrease, I doubt they're going to start to decrease, but if they pause, it's going to make the market go up because they're essentially having the money printers turned on at this point. And as you guys can see, and I'll show you in my own chart over here, the trading patterns, we're going to have a look at that now, but this is from uh, Trader Tardy Grade. Um, Bitcoin has broken out from the falling wedge, which was falling onto support. Note that the body of the breakout candle is larger than those in the previous three days. Boom. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. The same thing is here. So the likelihood is we end up at the target, which is generally at the top of the falling wedge or the pattern. So I do dig that from the trader tidy grade. And once again, from Stock Money Lizards, shout out to Stock Money Lizards. Bitcoin monthly chart. Monthly flow turns positive around halving for the third time since 2014, indicating the start of the second phase of the bull run. We've already had the first phase of the bull run kind of from the beginning of 2023 all the way up to today, actually. And uh, after the consolidation is over, going sideways between now, kind of over the next 60, 70 to 80 days, um, until we reach that halving on the 17th of April, we will not see an all uh, a new all-time high um, just yet, but it is just a matter of time. Now, there's the previous, uh, here's the halving zone, here's the halving zone, and here's the halving zone. Uh, so, you know, we're kind of getting ready to make the pump up to that level. So consolidation for another month, maybe two months, before we reach the level to break out of the previous all-time highs. So, guys, it is coming faster than you can imagine and if you don't believe it well sorry i can't help you but every single time if you see we went from the bottom of the chart up to the halfway point pull back up to the halfway point pull back and then break up are we going to do the same thing or are we just going to absolutely rock it up here what do you guys think let me know down in the, in the comments below and the last chart from stock money lizards well the Bitcoin history rhymes, the last chance to accumulate before the halving. Now, I want to take a closer look at this. And the reason why I want to take a closer look at this is, once again, because the halving is one of the most important catalysts. And if there is an alignment with the Federal Reserve to cut, start cutting interest rates around the same time as the halving is, well, that would mean that they would start to essentially put more money back out there into the ecosystem. And that's where you then see that if you guys watched my video yesterday, this one, and how Bitcoin and M2 money supply are actually very closely tied together, then you guys will go and see. I'll leave it up in the cards above for you, but this is definitely your last chance to accumulate before the Bitcoin halving, which gives you guys approximately like like eight, like 78 days or something like that now. So you know, I would just be very mindful of that because as you can see, 12 got bars of capitulation before the pre-halving peak. At, at, as we hit the pre-halving peak, 12 bars or 84 days. Same thing here, 12 bars and 84 days. 12 bars and 84 days. Are we going to hit 12 bars and 84 days at the moment? We are possibly going to see something like that happen. Now, guys, 
even if we pull back a little bit that's okay let it just do what it needs to do but you guys can see that the volume increased as we are increasing we're about to have an absolute tsunami of liquidity flow into the bitcoin space now monday we have no news tuesday we have s p shiller price uh, job openings and consumer confidence wednesday we have adp employment this is going to make the market move we also have employment cost index chicago barometer or pmi plus the federal interest rate decision we will also have then on thursday initial jobless claims u.s productivity and the s p pmi ism manufacturing too now on friday because it is the first of the month and wednesday is the last day of the first month of this year end of january going into february february um the second is the first friday of every month which is when we have non-farm payrolls so you have non-farm payrolls and that makes the market move like crazy then you have the u.s unemployment rate also makes the market uh, move like crazy they're predicting unemployment is slowly rising so that is telling us something guys um they're going to have to do something now i want to go and show you something first of all let's have a look at my bitcoin chart if you guys are enjoying this so far smash the thumbs up on the video and if you guys want to trade with me i'm still in my trade i still believe that this is a trade that we can possibly see another um, at least another 10 percent up before we start to see any kind of um uh, capitulation uh, at this point guys i'm gonna actually say to you that i would very much like to treat this as a let me get my brush as an inverse head and shoulders pattern that could essentially form on this baseline of this 40 to 41,000 level uh let's remove that let's put it there so that you guys can actually see so I think we could pump up here um, and then kind of hit this level and then kind of grind down a little bit here, make a higher low essentially and essentially do something like that and then bounce, kind of capitulate and bounce back up, get that momentum, kind of test this zone again, drop maybe like, like something like this and then absolutely rip it up kind of coming up uh, or coming up towards that halving which is almost somewhere here in april so you see 17th of april da, 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 right there isn't that freaking interesting that i drew this right at that 17th of that bottom there i drew right at the 17th april level and i didn't wasn't even watching that that's how in sync you are when you know what to look out for in your trading charts so this is a very high possibility if this was the case this would essentially become the target once we break out the target would then be my next line up here at the 57 kind of 58 and a half thousand level uh so that would be a very interesting level what do you guys think about that now i just want to go and have a look at this i'm going to delete this for now i'm going to keep that on the chart so that you guys can uh, talk to me about that in my live session tomorrow as you guys know every single monday i have my live session so make sure you do not miss out on the live session over there. If you guys want to be there, that's the, the session. Hit the notification bell and you guys will be there. We're going to have a look at some of the charts, the trading, etc. And we're going to have some fun there together. Now, drawing back to the chart here right now and currently looking at what it is that we are busy doing in terms of a candle. Uh, and currently at the moment, as you can see, we are actually making what is generally called a hammer candle, which is the current weekly candle. We're closing nicely in volume above this candle. Plus, we've got some good buy volume coming in. Plus, the RSI is turning back up. As I've shown you guys, um, generally, when the RSI starts to turn back up on the upside, it definitely has momentum behind it. Now, where are the instances of the same candle? To indicate that there is a reversal pattern that is possibly um, coming through. Well, first of all, there was one, there was one, there was one, and that's a baby one, but it's still one. So, you know, for me, guys, uh, I would like to say that, uh, and here's another one right here. Look at that. Okay. Um, sure i mean how many times look at that's not quite there but you know generally when you have those you see bursts up okay to follow so here 
burst up. Here, burst up. Here, burst up. Okay, so we're seeing it once again after a kind of flatline capitulation area. Shall we see it going further? Well, what exactly is a hammer candle? Well, a hammer candle stick is a price pattern in candlestick charting that occurs when a security trades significantly lower than its opening but rallies within the period to close near the opening price. Oh, so it's closing above. And generally, as you can see, a hammer candlestick at the end of the pattern. Boom. If this was inverted and this was the uptrend and this happened at the top, I would say that that's called a shooting star candle and that's a reversal pattern. So here is a, uh, a hammer candle shoots up, 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 hammer candle shoots up. Guys, I think you get the point. So what it is that I'm just trying to um, so you see here, when does inverted camel, uh, hammer candlestick happen? So a uh, high wave candle generally happens from there. And then you have a spinning, a spinning top kind of candle. But here is your inverted hammer. So you can see it's when you are kind of building that inverse head and shoulders pattern. And like I said to you on the daily, it looks as though we are building that beautiful inverse head and shoulders pattern. And I'd like to go and just add one uh indicator here for you because this indicator on the weekly time frame is a very very good indication um to tell us exactly what what happened because look at how perfectly we tested right in that zone over there um which actually gives me an indication that this is a decent enough so this could start to pull up and then this essentially would start to follow the the pattern kind of going up there okay so I hope that makes sense to you guys. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let's go and check out my Bitcoin trade. Now, there is something that I wanted to go and show you before I show you my Bitcoin trade, because on my videos yesterday, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, you guys will be getting some of the craziest, awesome alpha content that I have been publishing for you. And I did a coin here yesterday, and I said to you guys in this video where this coin would be pulling back to, where that would be an incredible buying opportunity to get into that coin. That coin is Manta. And I'd like to show you exactly where I would get into Manta. And I did say plus minus around the three, kind of the three dollar ten, the three dollar thirty to the about the three dollar price in between this area here. So you know you do have multiple areas that I would say that you would be patiently waiting for. Uh, it's coming down on this area right now the selling pressure is slowing down a little bit so maybe we see a bit of a bounce off of this area on manta but guys here is my bitcoin trade um i haven't got into an ethereum trade yet although on bitflex i am in a ripple trade so you know i just want to show you right now what's busy going on this is it's a very weird pattern but as you can see it is essentially a head and a shoulders pattern that can start to fall we're a little bit overbought here right now, so I wouldn't be surprised if we collapsed back down to here and, and created that inverse, uh, this other right shoulder, and then gave us that inverse head and shoulder pattern. Right now, um, $52 in profit or 62% in profit. So guys, you want to trade and make some good cash with me. You guys could see that, you know, I was waiting to break this candlestick here. So that's why I got in. Um, I was buying down here, um, trying to level and pull down my price level. So that's what uh, I did. And essentially, you can see here, now I'm in good profits. Here is my Ripple trade. My Ripple trade is quite similar. And my Ripple trade essentially is quite a bit, um, how would I say it? It's quite a bit, it's low. It's 27. I mean, look at here, I only used $4 in the trade, right? So it's currently sitting at 27% or $1.50. So I've got in around this area here, boom. And I would say that I would be taking profits up at around the 200 moving average on the daily because that will definitely and undoubtedly be some resistance. So we probably see a candle that breaks up through here, pulls back, waits for the 20 to pull it back up and then shifts up. Or we're just going to see a candle that shoots up through here, pulls back and then pumps to the 200. Uh, and then essentially that's going to be an attempt to start to break out of the 200 eventually. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. As I said, a short one for you guys today. If you have, smash the thumbs up. Hit my trading links down below. You've got up to like nearly $90,000 in trading bonuses. Use my Bit, Bybit and my Bitflex links down below and let's go trade together. 
Happy Sunday to you all. Much love, beautiful blessings, and we'll see you on the next one.